What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a video which is going to contain little snippets of vlog, a haul and a short little explanation of my holiday to Italy. So for those of you that don't know, I went for a weekend trip to Italy in mid-May, so almost a month ago now. I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading this. It'll probably be over a month since I went. Um, and it was a vacation with my boyfriend, his mum and her partner, so it was for her birthday and we surprised her and she didn't find out where we were going until we were sat on the plane and the pilot announced we were going to Milan and she was so excited, she started crying, it was so cute, so we definitely did a good job keeping the surprise. So um, I did want to film a vlog during my trip but I'm just so awful with vlogs. Like, I just am so overwhelmed and so excited by being in a new place that I'm just going around doing what I'm doing and I think, oh my God, it's the end of the trip and I haven't recorded anything. So I did manage to call I did manage to record three or four little clippets of the vlog, which I'll insert here. I'm pretty sure they're all from the first day. So you can get a kind of sense of what was going on. idea where we're going what we're doing we can't check into the Airbnb until half one so we're gonna have to take the cases around with us which is lame but hopefully we're going to Sephora <laughs> so we just arrived in a central station in Milan and now I don't know what we're doing we need to find the Airbnb but that's long and we can't check in yet so I don't know. And um, people keep looking at my outfit and laughing. This is a bit awkward, but it's cute though. These glasses make it look like I have really weird eyebrows. They are a bit big, I suppose. Big brows. So yeah, it's pretty big. There's some cool shit going on. very nice train station and I've just seen my first ever Sephora in real life it was like a really really small one so I didn't go in because I want to save the experience to be a huge big Sephora where I'm overwhelmed with makeup I don't know how well the audio is going to be on this video because there's loads of background noise so who knows but stay tuned to find out if we ever make it to the Airbnb so yeah unfortunately I didn't a lot of footage which is a shame because some of my outfits and stuff were so cute and I didn't vlog Sephora I'm so mad at myself so it was my first time ever going to Sephora because we don't have one here in the UK and it was the first Sephora was actually really crap um, it was a really really small one on the high street and I got there the Kat Von D counter was tiny um, I did get quite a few bits in there but it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I had this great picture in my head and it just didn't live up to it. It was just one small room full of a couple of stands and um, Casey had sent me a list of some things that she wanted from Sephora that we can't get here in the UK. So I was going to pick those up for her and I went to the, all the ones she wanted were from the Sephora's own like brand and every single shade that she wanted wasn't there it wasn't even like it was sold out it just literally wasn't there and I was panicking thinking she's not gonna believe me that everything she wanted wasn't there but um, when on the second day I went to a different Sephora because I found a different one on the maps and it was amazing there was three floors it was huge like all of the um, the interior design or like decor was really interesting, the staircases were cool and the people were all like their makeup was so nice and everyone was really helpful and my second Sephora experience was a lot better. 
So I'm going to jump into it and start my haul to show you what I got um, on my holiday. So yeah. So the first things I got were actually at the airport and duty free. So I didn't really, I wasn't really excited by duty free. And then we went through to go and get some food and I saw the little skinny dip stand and I was like, oh, I love skinny dip. So I had a quick look and I ended up buying, I bought this phone case, which, oh, got some plastic on me, nice. This phone case here, which is so cute and it's all like little planets and stuff, it's so adorable. Um, so it's for iPhone 6, 6s, 7 and 8. If I can find it on the website, I will link it below for you. As you can see, I haven't used it yet. I wanted to wait to film this video, so it's been sat there for a month. Um, and it should have been £14, but I got it for £11.67. How exciting. So the savings aren't huge, but I thought, while I'm here, holiday time, treat myself. So yeah, I'm so excited to use that. I also bought the backpack that matches that so it's got all the planets and stuff on and it's just such a small little compact backpack it's so good for taking to work or for running errands stuff like that it's so cute um, there's one little zip pocket inside if you can see that and then it does up with a silver zip there's no pockets on the outside or anything so it really is just a small compact thing um, I saw it and I was so in love with it and then Jake was like hey have you seen the phone case and I was like what and I just finished paying for that so then I went back and I bought this because I had to have it too cute so that's the only things I got from duty free so the next things I'm going to show you are makeup bits that I got from Sephora Okay, so from the first Sephora that I went to, the really small one that didn't really have a lot, um, I picked up the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Santa Sangri. So this is just like a really bright, true red. It's really, really flattering, and it's probably my favorite like bright red lipstick that I own. It's so nice. I mean, it suits pretty much anybody. It's really, really lovely, and I love her lipsticks, so this was a must. Next thing I picked up was the Studded Kiss um, lipstick in Whiteout. So I really like it because the, the actual bullet that it comes in is white rather than black, which all the other ones are. Oh, I can't open it. So it's just a pure white lipstick, which is cool if you want to like custom blend colours or to do just the daring all white lip, which I don't know how I'd feel about because it would make my teeth look really yellow. So I don't know about that, but it would definitely be cool to like mix with other things. And yeah, could be fun to experiment with. Oh, I should really do swatches, shouldn't I? But we have Santa Sangri. Whoa, why is my hands overexposed? And then here we have White Out. And then I bought the Everlasting Glimmer Veil in Wizard. I already have four Glimmer Veils before I bought this one. And I just thought this one's so cool. And again, you can kind of blend it with other things and use it in different makeup looks and use it in different ways. So I thought that'd be really cool. So it's the darkest Glimmer Veil and it's the black, gray, shimmery doodad. And I'm really excited to wear this because I haven't used it yet. And then when I was in the queue, like I was looking at the um, the locket setting powder because I've never used it and I was really intrigued by it, but it's such a big thing. I thought if I don't like it, that's a lot of money that I've wasted. So I kept picking it up and almond and and then I just put it back and then I got in the queue and then I just feel this little tap on my back and I was like, what the fuck? And I turn around and it's this really cute little lady who works on the Kat Von D counter and she, bless her, she must have been like, 40 something so I was really happy that because you know most MUAs are always like really young and really tall and skinny and perfect and she was just like this small little 40 year old woman she was so cute and she had this oh she had the nicest eyeliner like girl had talent and um she's just like she goes come with me and she shows me this tiny little sample of locket and she's like and I was like yes that's what I need so she was really helpful um I love that lady she was so cute so I got the tiny sample of the Locket Translucent Powder and it even comes with a teeny tiny puff which is actually really good to get under your eyes so that was kind of cool. So yeah, I've used it a couple of times and I do really really like it. Um, so I'll probably, once I finish this, buy the, the big dude, the full size version. So yeah, that's that. And then when I went to the second Sephora, 
I had all the stuff that I was picking up for Casey. I saw that they had Fenty um, in Sephora, which I didn't even know Fenty was sold in Sephora, so that was pretty exciting. Um, and I've been wanting to try the foundation, what's it, Pro Filter foundation for quite a while. So I picked up the lightest shade, which is 100. Um, so it looks like this. I will do a tiny pump, but not too much, because, you know, girl was expensive. Um, so that is the colour. I always go for the lightest shade in whatever foundation. I mean, you can probably see that it doesn't exactly match my skin tone, but I don't care because I like to be pale. So yeah, I've used this a couple of times and the first time I used it was um, on our last night in Italy and Jake's mum was like, what foundation is that? It's so nice. I need it. And I was like, thank you. But then the second time I used it, I didn't like it as much, but my skin was really, really dry. So um, definitely if you've got mega, mega dry skin, make sure you use a lot of moisturiser before using this but other than that I did really like it and the finish is nice but I feel there's a lot of flashback I'll insert a picture of um, a photo that Jake's mum's partner took the night we went out and my face and my body are completely different colours but like it was really obvious they were different colours so I'll show you the picture but yeah so don't know how I feel about it I'm gonna try it again but yeah and then while I was in the queue to pick up those few bits, I saw the little travel size. Um, it's the Cine Perfume and then the limited edition liquid lipstick shade. So they have one for Saint and one for Cine. So you've got limited edition colours. Um, and so I saw this and I was like, when in Rome or Milan. So I picked it up and bought it because I am a literal loser. <laughs> um, so... That is the travel size perfume, it's just so cute and I did wear it while I was there because it's my fave. And then this is the limited edition Saint colour um, and it's so pretty, I so wish they would make this a, a here to stay colour because I really really like it. It's like a, a royal purple colour, it's showing up a lot darker on camera but it is um, yeah, kind of like a mid purpley colour and I really really love it, so pretty. I haven't actually worn it yet, but when I do, you guys will know about it. So that was all the makeup I got from Sephora. The only other makeup I got was from Inglot. We do have Inglot in the UK, um, I've never been on their website, but I've seen a couple of stores in London so I could get it in the UK, but I thought while I'm here, treat myself and I got two of their gel liners that I've been wanting for a really long time so I got the white one which is 70, yeah, 76 which is what I'm wearing on my eyes here but I'm also wearing um, NYX's white liquid liner over the top because it wasn't as opaque is that the word? It wasn't as vibrant as I wanted it to be but I was putting it over black eyeshadow so I don't know I'll have to give it another test and then I bought the red in 79 and I used this for a makeup look a couple of weeks ago and I did really really like this so I'm very happy with these and they're so cute and the guy in there complimented my bag and I was like thanks he was like the only person who was nice to me the whole time I was in Italy it was really sad and the last couple of bits I bought are clothing items so I this is going to sound so dumb. I didn't realise that Italy was like a mega Catholic country. I don't know why it never clicked in my head. I just like, the only thing, I guess I just thought Milan, fashion capital of the world. Well, not of the world, but you know. So I didn't think about it being a mega Catholic country. I didn't even know there was a massive cathedral in Milan. I literally knew nothing about Milan before I went. And we were going to go to the cathedral and then I found out there's a dress code. So I panicked. And I read the dress code and literally nothing I brought with me was suitable to wear to the cathedral and it wasn't even like I had like a big massive like satanic prints it was like you can't show your shoulders you can't wear short skirts you can't wear crop tops and I was like holy shit that's literally everything I brought so I went to H&M and I bought this dress so it's got like a square neckline but you can also pull these bits down and wear it off the shoulder kind of like this top so I thought it'd be good to just cover up my shoulders when we go into the cathedral and then when we go back out and pull it down and then it's like a reasonable 
long length dress not long but you know not like hooker short like I usually wear um, and it had pockets too which was absolutely great so I bought this I do actually really like it and I wore it out for the last night um, it's, it was nice as well because it was so hot in Italy that it was just like a big kind of baggy thing and I was like yes so I do actually really like that and I'll definitely get a lot of wear through the summer it's from Bershka so it turns out we have Bershka in the UK I'd never heard of it never seen it before but there's one in the Trafford Centre and one in Brighton and you can probably buy it online um, but I didn't know that and I bought a pink cropped leather jacket it's not real leather it's super cute I put one of my own pins on there it says which it's so cute I got this from a local like new age store so sorry you can probably find one online but yeah it's just like a baby pink cute leather jacket and it's so cute when I go out with Jake and he's wearing his big black manly leather jacket and then I've got this cute little pink one and I'm like love my life so yeah super cute I think it was like 25 euros so it wasn't too pricey and I'm in love so that is everything I got while I was in Italy again like I said it was only a short trip I'm just gonna briefly sum up my time in Italy because I had high expectations however here's the tea I'm gonna spill the tea I don't even like tea so take the tea back but yes, so I had really high expectations. Um, Italy isn't top of my like list, but it's all somewhere that I've always wanted to go. Maybe not Milan, I probably would have picked Venice if it were up to me. But yeah, I was, nonetheless, I was really, really excited. Um, and I was rather let down. I think the biggest reason is that we stayed in, we were really close to the center of Milan and we were only there for we only had one full day and then we had most of the day Friday and a little bit on Sunday so we didn't get to explore as much as I would have liked and we pretty much stayed right in the center right where the big cathedral is so it was a very touristy area um, the food was so bland that it like it's like there was no care that had gone into it and it's like they were just churning out dish after dish and they didn't care about the food which is common with a lot of tourist places I mean like if you go to like centre of London I mean there's going to be loads of chains that are just like not fast food but they don't care they'll just ch like a Weatherspoon's like the food isn't good um, and that's what it was like in the places we went on the last night we did go to this really pretty um, part of Milan and it was along this canal and we went to a restaurant there and I had like a Milanese risotto and that was really really good um, but other than that all the other food I had like include like lunch breakfast dinner was all just like it wasn't bad it just wasn't good it was so and when you think of Italy you think of like the pasta and the pizza and it's all like incredible and it really wasn't I also read that Milan is supposed to be like one of the best places in Europe for vegan food not where I went there was not a lot of vegan food so I just mainly ate vegetarian and not vegan which was really sad but yeah so the food wasn't good but the biggest thing that really threw me about Milan was the people there just seemed so judgy and so rude. My outfits are not the most conservative. I don't like, I don't care what other people think generally. I really don't like, if I like something, I'll wear it. I often am wearing like short skirts and crop tops and hot pants and stuff like that. Or I could be covered head to toe, but everything's sheer. So I'm not really covered, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I'm not one that's like, oh can't reveal my midriff oh that's too short like I really don't care and in the UK in like Southampton where I'm from nobody really gives a shit like you might get a couple of wolf whistles or a couple of creepy guys but that's literally it everyone else just gets on with their life but in Italy and my outfits weren't even that extreme I toned it down because obviously I was on vacation with Jake's parents and I didn't want to be like too extra so the first day I had a co-ward set so it was like a cropped hoodie and a skirt it wasn't the shortest skirt I owned by far and then I wore it with pink fishnets and some like small platform boots so it wasn't mega out there and the looks that I got everyone was just looking at me like and you know like in England if you catch someone looking at you and they look away like oh, shit nope if you catch them looking at you in Italy they're like 
is so intimidating and I'm a very introverted person I'm generally quite shy in na like by nature and it was like really really affecting me like it was it was a lot and even on the second day I had um, like a cropped it was a cold set again so it was like a crop top with like cherry print and then high-waisted floor-length trousers so I really was just showing like a little bit of my midriff and then like my shoulders and everybody was glaring at me then and it just it wasn't out there it wasn't satanic it wasn't you know things that people would generally be offended by and everybody was just so rude and they don't it's just not polite no one queues for a bus they all just pile on no one queues for a taxi they just run and grab the first one it just was a big culture shock for me and I'm I'm hurt by the people of Italy they were mean and I didn't like it but yeah I would definitely go back to Italy because I want a more positive experience but I would visit Venice and I would try to stay away of the really touristy areas because then you can get to know like the real Italy not just the money-making side of it so I would definitely like to go back I am no means like I hate Italy that's not what I'm saying at all I just didn't have a positive experience where I went so yeah I'm sorry for the long rambly video but I thought I would just share with you guys my experience after all I'm assuming you guys are subscribed because you are slightly interested in me and my life so there you go um, thank you so much for watching this video let me know down below if you've been to Italy um, let me know what your thoughts are did you have the same experience or would you want to go to Italy and don't let me put you off just don't go to the really touristy Milan that's all you can take from this video so yeah thank you so much for watching I love all of you guys I'm just feeling emotional today <laughs> I'll see you guys next time bye